Jury selection is underway in Massachusetts in the murder trial of Aaron Hernandez, former star tight end of the New England Patriots. Prosecutors say Hernandez orchestrated and took part in the 2013 murder of Odin Lloyd, who was the boyfriend of Hernandez's fiance's sister. Initially, the case seemed solid for the prosecution, but pretrial rulings by the judge appear to favor the defense. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is here with more. Ricky, good morning. Good morning. This is the second high profile case in Boston because we're also dealing with jury selection for Joe Carsonayev. Indeed it is. And both of these jury selections are really extraordinary. And we know that there have been uh, lots and lots of jurors who have been summoned for Sarnayev. But let's look at what's happening in Hernandez. Over 1,100 jurors wow. summoned. In smaller groups of about 125, jury selection will take a number of days just to weed them out by questionnaires. Ultimate goal. 18 in the box, 12 to decide, must be unanimous verdict, six alternates, why six? Because the trial is going to last six to ten weeks. Mm -hmm. So we have two very, very long trials happening in New England. As we mentioned, two key pieces of evidence not admissible. Eighteen months ago, this looked like a pretty straightforward case. How much does this shake that up? Well, I think it shakes it up because you have these extraordinary defense lawyers. Two key pieces of evidence, and there are many more than that. The one that people are talking about the most is there is a series of quick little text messages that the victim does minutes before the shots go out. They say, you saw who I'm with, next one, NFL, last one, just so you know. Mm -hmm. And then the bullets are fired, shots are fired. So the prosecution says, well, obviously that's code for Aaron Hernandez. The defense says, wait a minute, filed a big motion to keep that stuff out. That stuff is out. That could have been called a dying declaration. It's powerful. The other, ammunition. They cannot put the gun in Aaron Hernandez's hands. They don't have the gun. Mm -hmm. There was ammunition in one of the apartments that he owned. Ultimately, that got excluded because of a bad search warrant. Okay, that changed the landscape, certainly. Ricky Kleeman, thanks so much for being with us this Thank morning. You.